I'm Ross Mack. And I'm Andini. Welcome to the Finance Couch. Hey guys, I'm Ross Mack and I'm from the south side of Chicago. Now a lot of young kids don't have the same access to financial literacy and that's why I developed Maconomics. We're bringing Wall Street to Main Street and now we bring it to the campus. My name is Stella. I am 21 years old. I'm from San Francisco, but I go to school in Los Angeles. I try to budget as much as I can as a college student, but obviously there's a lot of access to luxuries around here, so sometimes I get a little ahead of myself when it comes to spending on um, things that maybe I should be putting aside for saving. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you guys? Hey, hey, how's What's it going? What's your name? I'm Stella. I'm a third year in college and I'm studying communications and cinema and media studies. So how can we help you today? People love to troll people my age about spending so much on lattes and avocado toast. I have a latte right here. Well, I love <laughs> coffee worry. as much as the next yeah. person. I'm just wondering, is there a way to still indulge in those luxuries while remaining financially stable? I love the question, right? Because anytime you go on one of the TikTok finance gurus page, yeah. it's like, because you're buying you know, a coffee a day, this is keeping you from becoming a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And so there's some truth to it, but there's also, they're kind of stretching it, right? And so one of the things you want to realize is you can afford anything so as long as that you've budgeted for it. Say you buy a $5 latte every day, right? Mm -hmm. That's about $150 that you could have been investing as opposed to yeah. spending $150 yeah. on the lattes, right? Yeah. However, to your question of can you still enjoy some of the luxuries, right? You don't yeah. want to just be a machine. The answer is absolutely right. Everything goes down to how you're budgeting. And the budget plan that I want you to look at is a 50-30-20. 50% of your take home money after taxes is going towards your necessities, 30% is going towards the things you want to do, and 20%, right, is going towards your savings, okay. right? So 50% necessities, think of, think of your rent, mortgage, uh, your groceries, your utility bills, et cetera, right? Okay, but you're saying 50%, like coffee is not included in that? No. <laughs> okay. Coffee's coming to the not next a one. Coffee's <laughs> coming to the Darn. next one. The necessities are the things you literally need in order to truly survive, right? Okay. Your groceries, right? Not eating out, but actual groceries, okay. right? Okay. But next is 30%, and those are the things that you want to do. Okay. So this is literally anything, whether it's going on vacation, buying the lattes, buying okay. the teas, buying the avocado toast, right? And next is 20% should be going towards saving, investing, and paying down debt. But once again, within that 30%, whatever it is, you can do it so as long as it's in your budgeted, right, your allocated budget of funds, right? Okay. And so... I mean, so in that 30%, you could make a budget just for coffee. Or yes. just for avocado toast, <laughs> yes. is what you're saying. So as long as you've actually said, you know what? I could afford this because it's in my budget, mm -hmm. then have at it, you could do it. I think my conversation really, really did help because now I have a better idea that Buying a coffee isn't going to send me into financial debt, but I can do it in a responsible way. If I were to win the lottery, I would definitely allocate a lot of it to savings and my savings account. A part of it would definitely go to reimbursing my parents for everything that they've spent on me, just because I'm an only child also, so like I'm pretty close with them. but. I've always told them, like, once I get rich and famous, like, I'll buy them their beach house. So um, I'll definitely set aside some money, that some of that money for them, because they deserve it. Set aside some for student loans that I know I'm going to have to pay off. And then maybe, like, a couple, gosh, a million, maybe, like, a couple thousand just for, like, fun for me to indulge, treat myself for winning the lottery. Clearly, I worked really hard. Maybe just, like, a little... Europe trip and I'll treat myself for enter because I'm a junior so I'll be starting a senior senior year soon so if I won the lottery I'd probably split it like savings parents school stuff and then me be sure to subscribe to million stories